Hey tennis fans, I'm Grace Carter and this is Tennis Now presented by Tennis Express. Tennis Express, shop the Black October sale for the best deals of the year. Wimbledon has put some timeless tennis out to pasture. The All England Club announced the introduction of a tie break in the deciding set when the score is deadlocked at 12-12. The new rule, which applies to men's and ladies singles and doubles matches, takes effect at the 2019 Wimbledon. The Grass Court Grand Slam joins the U.S. Open now, which uses a tie break at six all in the final set as the second slam to implement now a decisive set breaker. Now that means the 2010 marathon match that saw John Isner and Nicholas Mahout battle from here to eternity, it seemed, until the American finally prevailed at 70-68 in the fifth set. Well, that's gonna remain the longest in Wimbledon history. You'll remember that epic spanned 11 hours and five minutes. Long John told the BBC Radio 5 that he supports the shorter scoring system. He said all along that 12 all is good. It's sensible, it's bucking tradition, but a lot of people believe that's not a bad thing. Wimbledon champion Novak Djokovic said he also supports the scoring change. Boris Becker also praised the rule change, but will it even have an impact? Paul Timmons points out in the last five years at Wimbledon, only five matches have exceeded a 12-all final set score. The Australian Open and Roland Garros do not have final set breakers, but Isner believes the ultra-traditional Wimbledon's change could spark scoring reform in all four majors. So we're going to put the question to you now. Should all the Grand Slams adopt the break at 6-all or 12-all? Or do you support the traditional tennis scoring of playing out the final set with no tie break? Let us know where you stand on this issue in the comments section below. And that's it for us, everybody. We'll see you next time.